what I'm talking about. Listen. Hey, how does it feel to be in a place with tons of people that all sell cars, that all raise their hand and say, I love the freaking car business. Know what they're worth. They're going to go get what they're worth. It's a beautiful thing. You guys are all awesome. I love you guys. Let's rock and roll. Everybody have a seat. Close, sell, negotiate, overcome objections, block and tackle things that most salespeople can't handle. Look, keep your confidence, keep your enthusiasm, smiling eyes, good attitude, good energy. Buyer management, which is your customers managing them. Seller management, which is me, right? Controlling the way that I am the entire time. You're going to start dissecting it down and realizing that this business is, is, is easier than it's ever been. Our competition is softer and weaker than they've ever been. Now is the time to attack. Listen, they will all be slaughtered. Every one of them who aren't training, as long as you go all in on yourself and you recreate yourself. Some of you right now, you're introverts. You're like, man, I don't sound like you. I don't talk like you. Yes, you do. You haven't unleashed that guy yet. I promise you, I'm an introvert. Get that guy, get that woman out of there. Stop playing small. Live out loud. Decide to change your family's future. Have generational influence on all your kids, your grandkids, the rest of your family. Let them remember you for a thousand years because you were the one that bet the farm and you refused to be average. You couldn't stomach it. It made you sick. Have an average life. It should make you sick. The antidote is action. It's action. It's when you leave here, action. More action. In 24-7, 365, I don't care if it takes 100 hours a week, working every waking hour to create this new man. It's worth it. I will assure you. And once you create this guy, you don't work on the old you. You create the new. When you create that new person, guess what happens? Life changes fast. Lightning fast. And that's what I want you guys to experience. I don't want to deal with all day. And I know that's something that you don't want to deal with all day, too. Trust me, you already told me your time is important. You didn't want to waste time. I didn't waste time with you. And I'm being upfront with you as well. This is what I can get you, and this is a great price. Like I said, my managers, they usually don't like taking trade-ins, okay? So I ask them. I work with them, okay? I was like, hey, I need to make this deal happen for this person. They're ready to be in their new beginning. They're ready to be in their new truck, their new car, whatever it is. And in order for that to happen, they need this amount for their trade, okay? And guess what? He was like, you know what? Let me work with it. Let me see what I can do. So I got him to do that for me, all right? So I'm working for you. But I want to work for you even more. I don't want you to have to put in that work that you had to do to go sell your car, go haggle with people. That's my job right here. That's what I love doing, okay? Let me do what I do, and let's get you into this new truck, all right? Sign right here. Come on. <laughs> for a second. Every morning, what do you do with your team? We're going to drink. That's what we're going to do. Every morning. Every morning. Right? Every morning. Is that beautiful? Yeah. Here's what I'm going to tell you. But it's not just even breaking records. It's specific training. You know, you have to go in there with a the goal. Hey, I want to accomplish this. But it's like I tell my guys, I got two of them right here. You're yeah. going to get tired of this. It's going to get old. Mm -hmm. You're going to get wore out. Mm -hmm. My will is greater than yours. I'm not going to lose it. That's what I'm talking about. Get you, bro, but listen, I, I love the truck, but I just think the price is too high on the pencil. All right. Hey, I totally understand, and this is my fault, Scotty. See, I didn't explain our pricing policy mm. to you up front. See, what we've learned is that 90% of the customers actually do want the best price up front. The other 10%, they still want to negotiate and haggle. See, unfortunately, we find that disrespectful and untrustworthy, being that it is 2021. We're in the age of transparency, right? So we want to take care of our customers the way they've been asking us to take care of them. So I don't only want to just sell you this one car, Scotty. I want to sell you every car that you, your family, and all your friends buy for the rest of your life. So have I offended you in any way, in any way, by giving you my best price up front? Little Andy, no, you didn't. <laughs> Thank you so much.